Hey guys, what's up? It's Xuperus here, and today I'll be reacting to episode 2 of Oregairu. Now, the previous episode was very fun. I love the banter between Hachiman and Yukino, and they were very thought-provoking in their conversations. Uh, I only regret the fact that I wasn't able to pause in during the episode so that I can interject and insert my own thoughts on the matter. So... With this episode, hopefully I'll be able to do that. And without further ado, I really, I'm really excited to, to see the rest of this season and then the next two seasons as well, because it's really, it's really good. I like, I really like their tandem. And along with uh, Yui, I think it's a, it's a very good group of high school students because they're real. They're not trying, well, they are very realistic depictions of a cynic and a pragmatist. And of course, there's Yui. But yeah, I really want to see how this develops and how their relationships actually evolve through time and through spending time with each other and hanging out, whether they're going to become a couple or not, and whether Hachiman will change throughout the course of their friendship or their relationship with one another, with each other. So without further ado, this is episode 2 of Oregairu. Okay. We are social creatures, that's true. Okay. ジレンマを感じているはずだ。オッケー。どうした?うん、ちょっと聞いていい。このように群れとは、鬼とって何ら駅をもたらさないのだ。ならば私は決して群れることのない熊の道を選ぶ。いや。うん、オッケー。島民
先生って原告の教師だったんじゃ私は生活指導だゆえに生物の先生に丸投げされたんだでこれのどこが野生動物の生態だ野生動物の群れ社会に対する強烈なアンチテーゼです OK 理屈はやめろまるで君は群れることを罪悪のように言うがな<笑>先生だって個体っていうか独身で群れ<笑><笑>本人は納得したみたいなんで君たちはひねくれているからうまく社会に適応できそうもないところが心配だよ。OK。だから一箇所に集めておきたくなる。<笑>あそこはサナトリウムかよ。そうかもな。けれど君たちは見ていて面白い。<笑>だから手元に置いておきたいだけなのかもしれんな。OK。So she's actually a student counselor. Which makes sense why she's doing this. ほかの誰かにやすやすと譲ってやるわけにはいかない。Right. おい、その辺で。うっさそ,その辺で飲み物でも買ってこようかな。でもやめとこうかな。あ、oh, wow. <笑>あ、そう。ゆいのために言うけどさ、<笑>それはっきりしない態度って結構イラっとくんだよね。<笑>またそれさっきから謝ってばっかだけど。Finally, somebody to stand up for her. Right. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Kizukanakte,ごめんなさいね.あなたたちの生態系に詳しくないものだから、つい、ルージンへの威嚇だと思ってしまったわ。親間の対象気取りで虚勢を張るのは結構だけれど、自分の縄張りの中だけにしなさ
go through with it. Unlike Yukino. Well, I guess because Yukino has the intelligence to actually fight off against somebody like Yumiko. So Yukino was able to fight off against Yumiko because she was just able to counter everything that was coming out of Yumiko. So yeah, uh, I like that. He did stand up for her though, even though he didn't go through with it. <laughs> we can commend that. We can commend him for that. Just get out of there, please. Stop pandering to her. Yui should just stop being friends with it. well She, she never considered you as a friend in the first place. <sighs> but she's so pure of heart. She's so innocent. And I, that's what... That's why you need friends like Yukino and... And Hachiman. Who in the world is this? Professor Roke? <laughs> Who in the world is this? A Chunibyo, basically. その友達、あなたに用があるんじゃないの友達じゃねえつ。さよ、我に友などおらぬ。マジで一人。へめ、八万よ。では我に手を貸せ。うん。思えば我と主は対等な関係。かつてのように天下を再び握らんとしようではない
強説の原稿かいかにもそれはライトノベルの原稿だとある新人賞に応募しようと思っているが、okay. 友達がいないので感想が聞ける読んでくれ OK、そう、he just needs beta readers。そことをさらりと言われた気がするわ。投稿サイトとかあるから、そこにさらされるんじゃない。Yeah, that's also one thing. それは無理だ。Why? それは容赦がないからな。酷評されたら多分死ぬぞ、あれ。OK。でもな。多分投稿サイトより、雪の下の方が容赦ないよ。Oh wow, a lot of notes already. <laughs> okay. She didn't read it at all. <laughs> wow. She also spent the whole night reading it and putting notes on it as well. That's dedication. ま、ずなぜいつも統治法なのテニオ派の使い方知ってる小学校で習わなかった<笑>それは平易な文体でより読者にしたしそれは最低限まともな日本語が書けるようになってからではないのそれにルビだけど語用が多すぎるの能力に力なんて読み方はないのだけれど聞くけどこのブラッティナイトメアスラッシャーのナイトメアはどこから来たの<笑>違うのだ最近のバトルではルビの振り方に特徴ここでヒロインの服を脱いだのはなぜ必要性が皆無のねしらけるよ、えー、そういう要素がないと完結していない物語を人に読ませないでくれるかしら文才の前に常識を身につけた方がいい<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>その辺でいいんじゃないかあまりいっぺんに言ってもあれだしまだ言い足りないけどまあいいわじゃあ次はルイガハムさんかしら<笑>えー、っとあ、ま、難しい感じたくさん知ってるねじゃあヒッキーどうぞ<笑>ッキーお前なら理解できるような<笑>であれって何のパクリ<笑>また読んでくれるかあんだけ言われてまだやるのかよ。無論だ。確かに酷評はされた。だがそれでも嬉しかったのだ。自分が好きで書いたものを誰かに読んでもらえて、感想を言ってもらえるというのはいいものだな。わかった。また読むよ。さらばだまた新作が書けたら乗ってくるそうだな。こいつは中二病ってだけじゃないもう立派な作家病にかかっているのだ、うん、書きたいことがあるから書きたい、うん、それが誰かの心を動かせたならなお嬉しいそれこそが作家病材木座はこれからも変わらなくていいのだあの気持ち悪い部分を除けば。いや、I agree。八万円。流行の勧誘師は誰だ。気が早いよ。賞を取ってから考えろよ。売れたらアニメ化して、声優さんと結婚できるかな。いいから、そういうのいいから。まず原稿をかけ。な。売れた
夜な夜な合流できるかな合流なんてあるわけないだろう夢好きなんだよ OK Okay, so in that episode, we saw two things. One, Yui is finally speaking up to the Queen Bee, with whom she was pandering to before. But I think that was a one sided kind of friendship. It was only Yui who thought that she was friends with this girl, and this girl, Yumiko, was only using her to do errands. So、uh, basically, she, she just made her a gopher. I like the fact that Yukino was able to stand up to Yumiko, and the fact that Yukino is more eloquent and intelligent than the other girl kind of gives her an up in that regard. And the fact that Yui is friends with Yukino is probably giving her a little bit more protection against Yumiko. And then There's the second part of the episode where we get to be introduced to,、uh, I forgot his name, but the guy with the Chunibyo. There are cases when Chunibyo characters are, are funny, but I don't know. I think this one is just a little over the top. He's a bit too much, even for any Chunibyo characters out there. I think so far he's the one that I find the most annoying. It's so draining for me to. <laughs> So exhausting to actually try and watch through somebody who's acting out in that way. I mean, I understand. Okay, don't get me wrong. I understand that some people have different ways of expressing themselves, and it's probably just a phase, right? But that just shows that he needs to work a lot more on himself. If he has this passion for writing, then he should just put everything, all of his efforts on that. He should just focus on something that he's passionate about, and that's writing. And even though he might not be good at it right now, if he continues to work on it and put a lot of effort into it, I think he'll become a really good writer because he's got the motivation and apparently he's got the, the perseverance for it too. Because even though both Yukino and Hachiman ripped his manuscript to shreds, he's, he's still going to write and let them read it and comment on it. So he's, at the very least, he's got that persistence and drive and passion for it. He just needs to get comfortable on, in his own skin. Those are the only two things that, I've, that stood out for me in this episode. So yeah, that was episode two of Oregairu.、Uh, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.